music. Clover's music. Good, isn't he? He can draw. He can sing. He can play music. He can do anything you like. But here is the story all about Bright Eyes and Lancer. It's called Desiree. Come. Trouble. If you remember, in the last episode, I was sent to Ponyland with Lancer, and he said that if ever he got in trouble, there I would have that feeling, and that if ever he died, I would. This is the story. Ponyland. Lancer was exploring. When Lancer explores, he never knows what he might find. He could find a strange pony he'd never seen before, or a strange flower. It all depended on how Desiree was feeling that day. He went further down the road. Then he met up with Truly. What was she doing in the future? She was from the years before him. Hello? I don't know what happened. She said. I couldn't tell him what he was thinking from his puzzled face. I don't know. I just seem to get warped into the future. Anyway, I better go. I've got to go in search of Paradise Estate. 
won't find one here. They all look like Freeman's houses here. Wish I lived in Paradise Estate, said Lancer. Well, that's a nuisance, but, well, you live in the future. And she walked off. Lancer walked further down the little path he hadn't seen before. Then he met up with Bright Eyes. Hello. It's Bright Eyes. Do you fancy having a ride on my bike? <laughs> yes, please. The answer. And they went off down the road on their two bikes. But then a disaster happened. It began to pour with rain. They couldn't see where they were going, it was raining so much. They tried to ride back, but they couldn't. As they rode into the darkness of the rain, the bike fell over. Then they noticed two hooves had pushed it over. They had come out of that bush. Bright Eyes and Lancer lay on the ground with the bikes by their side. A pony appeared out of the bush. It was a black pony that he had never noticed, known before. He had lightning on his bottom and looked evil. And grabbed hold of them and their bikes and threw the bikes up into the air then threw lightning at the bikes the bikes burst into flames yet then without speaking held on to Bright Eyes and Lancer and walked them back down the path then there was a giant tornado they got inside it with this black pony and were walked into a sort of house. The black pony was gone. Then they realised he had locked them up. <sighs> On earth Desiree was having a bad dream. It was night time in on earth. Lancer was in her nightmare and there was a black pony. He was called the Nightmare. He shouted at Desiree. Then a frightened Lancer came out of the bushes. Desiree, come! Quickly! You have to go to Ponyland! Then she woke up. Mummy, she said, I have one of those feelings about Lancer. He's in trouble. When have you ever seen Lancer? said Mummy. You are dark. Desiree had never told Mummy about her last visit to Ponyland. And she yeah. thinks some miracle's going to happen when I turn the key to this box. Miracle on me, I think. She <laughs> believes that something's really going to happen when I turn the key to this box. Last time I got a pony to turn the key. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I have seen him. I just haven't told you the secret of the box. She held her out when people turned the key which was in the box she would be specially put to Ponyland. If you put a pony in the box she would automatically come back from Ponyland alive. One of the ponies was still there. She had been the one to turn the key and let Desiree into Ponyland. 
Oh, right, go back there then. No, we'd better ask. Oh, I suppose I'd better tell somebody else. That's right. She went walk enough. Who else have you got in this room to talk to? Hmm, just my ponies. She said, Oh, they're not alive. One is. She spoke with Chatterbox, who was the one pony which had come to life. Well, I don't know what we can do then. This is stupid. Um, now you're making up stories that a pony's come to life. It's bad enough that you're making up stories that I have to turn a handle and they're all going to disappear. Yes, but it's true. So I went back. She went... No, if that's true, I'm not putting you in this box. Oh, but he's ill. I can tell. We have to get there. No. That night they went out to Tesco's. What can we do? I have to go back to Ponyland. Ah, oh, stop going on about it. Basically, you want to jump in the box and pretend that you're in Ponyland, saving a pony that isn't even ill. Is that it? No. Lance has said that if he ever got ill, I would know. I did. I had that nightmare. And he is dying. If he dies, I'll die. Oh. Oh, well, we're not going to. Please. Oh, okay, you can go. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mummy. Thank you. We better get there quick. Stop going to Tesco's. I have to go quick. I don't know where Lancer is. I might have to be quick. I have to take my pick. Bright Eyes is hurt too. I told I heard it in the nightmare. They were both sitting there. Too. Lancer and Bright Eyes sitting in the dark with a black pony of lightning. They walked around. They couldn't walk. They were tied to a tree. That is all I could see. A black pony with lightning on his rump. He crashed some tornadoes to the floor with a thump. We had to, I have to get there quick. The clock is going tick, tick, tick. He'll die soon if I don't get there quick. Quick, quick, quick. Tick, tick, tick. Come on, let's get home from this stupid Tesco's. We have to get home to save him. Save him. Save him. Save him. I can hear the words echoing in my brain. In Pony Land, it's an unusual case of rain. I have to get there quick. The clock is going tick, tick, tick. Please let me go. Quick, quick, quick. Clock is going tick, tick, tick. Please let me go. Quick, quick, quick. The clock is going. Tick, tick, tick. Clock is going. Tick, tick, tick. Please let me go. Quick, quick, quick. The clock is going. Tick, tick, tick. Please let me go. Quick, quick, quick. The clock is going. Tick, tick. I turned round and went back home. Desiree ran into the lounge, opened up her box and jumped inside. 
Man has screwed up the key and she was walked into Ponyland. When she got to Ponyland, it was pouring with rain. It was just pouring and pouring and pouring. Thunder, lightning. It was all there. It was, it poured on the soft ground and made a crackly noise. She ran looking for the answer. Then she arrived at a building. Yes, that must be where the answer was. She entered it. There was muffled squeaking all around. Then she saw it. Piles and piles of hutches filled with guinea pigs and their owner's name written there. There was Bright Eye Skinny Pig, Bubble. He squawked at Desiree. Please save me, he seemed to say. She knew that somewhere there were ponies locked up, but where? Then she saw lots and lots of small trails leading to the ponies. But before she could do that, she had to free these poor little guinea pigs. She got hold of Bubble's cage and smashed it on the floor. Bubble ran into her arms. Come on, we gotta take you back to Bright Eyes. Right, let's get back. I suppose Lance must have been exploring with Bright Eyes like last time. Oh. All the guinea pigs could smell the bones. So, she unlocked every single one of their cages and they all ran down the right paths to try and save their owners. Bubble squawked so much, but she got back down and there was the answer. Bright eyes, and now, truly. What was they doing in there? Such a small house. Such a small house, three ponies. What could they do? There was no way out. And as Cesare walked inside, she saw she was locked in too. Oh well, she said. But then it said a loud speaker came on. There is somebody who is not a human in one of the cages. Who is it? There was somebody who's not a pony in one of the cages. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Right, they got. Then. The next thing that Desiree knew, she had dropped Bubble on the floor and ran straight into somebody else's arms and threw her out of the door. Oh no, she said. I'll never get back in there now. Mind you, at least Bubble's in there. She was thrown out. Of course, there was still the chance that Bubble might get out and get out by chewing his way out. But, what hope of that was there? She walked sadly back to Lance's house to tell his mother the bad news. She was so upset when she heard, but she said, well, 
Let's just hope he gets out. And she went to tell Bright Eyes, his parents. They were upset too. But they didn't seem to think that they'd ever get out. In the end, she just signalled the bell, which she had said would ring. Got to her house, and Mummy sent her back. It's terrible, they're locked in this tiny little house, she told them. I couldn't believe it, but I got chucked out before I got time to save them. Well, you were right then. And you did disappear. I know. But what can we do about this? Desiree's own guinea pig, Diesel, squonked. She knew they were saying wrong as well. Oh, come on, Diesel. Lancer was now sitting on a chair. Bright Eyes was sitting on the floor, talking to her pet guinea pig. What could they do? Truly was now eating a bit of food which had been left over. For dinner, you see, ponies eat twice as much as humans. And for dinner, they got 14 grapes, a bit of papaya, 13 pe pieces of peach, some tomato, which all went to bubble, some potato, and that was it. So where could they live on that? Oh, now a new pony from the future was coming in. Her name was Princess Crystal. Ah, oh, now maybe she would know something. Later on, they talked to this Princess Crystal. And she said... Well, I don't think I can do anything, but I'll try. See, Princess Crystal specialised in magic. Now, I'll tell you what, tomorrow at dinner time, just save some of the smash for me. Then, I'll try and help you. Next dinner time, I gave her some of the smash, she had a bit, and the other stuff, she tipped into a jug. It was mixed with mashed up grass. Then, she went to a cupboard and said, Weebo, Weebo, we need Bobo. And she opened up the cupboard, and there was a pony called Bobo, who made some glitter. Then, he shook all the glitter into the grass, which was on top of the smash. As soon as they had that stuff sprinkled over them, said Princess Crystal, they would start to dig. So I get to a corner of the house and I'll sprinkle it over you. And she did it to all four of them. Right. Start digging. And they started to dig. I dug a hole right to the bottom and realised I hadn't dug a tunnel. So, they're out of luck. Uh, now we'll have to make sure we don't fall down that hole. Oh, don't worry, I'll get out there. Princess Crystal then got out. She dug her way out. But when she got out, there was a great big black pony in the clouds. The black pony said, 
You ponies, get back inside! And started shooting out lightning from his eyes. Run! Shouted. But they were too late. Bright Eyes got struck by lightning and fell to the ground. Oh no, I can't leave her, said Truly. I was just getting friendly with her. What about me? said Lancer. All right, you go on, Lancer. I'll stay behind. But then, disaster. Princess Crystal was struck by lightning. And Lancer had to stop with her. Oh no, I can't stop, said Lancer. Turned out that that glitter uh, made him not be able to stop running. <sighs> oh, great. What am I going to do? The girlfriend being treated by Truly, I don't even know. She was dead before my time. <laughs> Princess Crystal laying on the floor and I can't even try and help her. The big black cloud floated in the air. You won't get away, Lancer. I'll tell you that. That lightning will start following you because you've had that glitter sprinkled all over you. And the lightning is attracted to glitter. <sighs> and this is all Princess Crystal's fault. I don't think I'm very interested in her. Right, I'm not going back to Alpha. Then, he went back, he went running back, and round and round, but then he realised he was blocked in. The hole had been filled in, and he was running round and round and round, and truly had just fainted on the ground. Oh, no. He burrowed into a little hole on the ground. He hid underneath, but then he saw the lightning coming down the hole. He dug further. The lightning was just behind him now. Ah! It had got him, but he kept running. He couldn't stop now. Now he'd found a maze. The lightning split up. Followed every direction. No. Wherever he went, it seemed to follow him. It didn't matter whether he ran round in circles, left, right, forward, backwards. It just chased him everywhere. He dug his way back up. Right, Truly was back up now. Let's see. Truly, come over here. Right, basically this lightning chases anything with glitter on it. We gotta get in the pond. Ah, <sighs> no! I make my so soft fur go fuzzy. Oh, forget about that now. What would you rather? You died. So, Nancy truly, and they dragged Princess Crystal into the water. Princess Crystal dropped to the bottom of the pond. I didn't think I'd be seeing her again. Well, I'm not actually going to save her, said Lancer. I almost got killed because of her. I did get hurt. <sighs> I know. Not that good did it do us. Now look, I just, we're stuck out in the cold with that big black lightning pony over us. <sighs> what can we do? <sighs> because we need more of that glitter. To dig back in. I think, though, Bubble has got the idea. Bubble's already digging in. He dug right under the window and jumped back in. Come on, under here! But he dug such a small tunnel that Truly just slipped in. But Lancer didn't. Lancer was left outside. Quickly! Dig a bigger hole, Bubble! What about my mum? Where's my mummy? said Bubbles. 
If you show me where my mummy is, I'll help you. Your mummy is back outside. Lance is trying to help her. Oh, I suppose I'll have to dig a hole for him then. He dug... Bubble dug right back under. Right. Oh, there's my mummy and she's laying on the ground. What's happened to her? Mm. Well, to drag her back inside. But one hoof got caught. Oh, no. What? We're stuck down the hole. Oh, no. Yes, we're stuck in this little hole. Ugh. Okay, then. I'll dig you a bigger hole. It's nothing to do with that. What, then? I've got my tail trapped under this bright eyes, and she's got her hoof caught round there, so I can't pull her forward. Oh, no. Somebody's got to come down here, somebody really, really thin, to get in and help us. Oh, I suppose I'll have to try. You're too big, Bubble. You can't. You'll get stuck. Oh, OK. Well, who can I get who's thin? Well, just, I don't know, somebody who can pull my tail out. <sighs> Somebody's got to dig another hole and get Bright Eyes out to save me. Bright Eyes, I don't think it'll do her much good to be wet. Damp in this ground. <sighs> All right. Bubble dug a great big hole. He dived under. He undid the hoof, but they were still stuck. What is it? Oh, no, it's that powder again. But why? I don't know. No, it's that lightning. What lightning? Oh, didn't I tell you? I got struck by it. What? Well, you haven't fallen over. Well, I have to keep running. But it's doing funny things now. The black pony laughed above him. Oh, no! Desiree was having another nightmare. In this nightmare, Lancel was being carried off by the black pony. Well, what can we do? I've got to go back. You're not going back to Ponyland again. I don't think you go to Ponyland anyway, said Mummy. Well, just wait and see. She went off. In Ponyland, Princess Crystal was now surfacing from pond. She was fine there. She jumped up and followed and looked around for Lancer. Is anybody still in this garden? Yes, but we're stuck down the hole. Oh no, well I don't think there's anything I can do for that. Yes there is. Gino, 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 come. Gino, 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 run. After saying those magic words, a load, loads and loads of those guinea pigs all came rushing in. Gino, 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 dig. All the guinea pigs started to dig. Where? Lancer was stuck. Would Lancer ever come out? To be continued. In real life, I'm sitting in her back room. And I find it very sad because I have just found the dead body of a grasshopper which must have come in in the summer. I'm sitting with the Christmas tree by my side and little gold stars twinkling all around me. Piles of boxes and a rocking horse in front of me. 
I have an advent calendar to the left with my toy oven. I have posters on the wall. Fox hunt is sitting in front of me. And well that's really it. Except to say now some adverts will come on. get through the hole that the guinea pigs dug. No ponies could. They dug through and pushed Bright Eyes' foot. Of course they weren't strong enough to pull her out of the hole though. And she was laying on Lancer. Where could they get out of this one? If only Bright Eyes had come back to life Hmm, of course, Princess Crystal was revived with some of that pond water. But, how do we carry it down here? Quick, quick, quick! We're not strong enough! We can't carry it down in buckets! we better try. Go on. They all went shooting down the garden, carrying a tiny weeny bucket about the size of a thimble. How many times would it take them to do that? There was about um, hundred of them, a hundred thimbles of them, and each bit of the pony had to be soaked. They'd have to go up and down the garden about two hundred times. They all went walking down the garden, dipped their thimbles in, and then came wandering up the garden. Then they realised they had a hole in the bottom of all their buckets, and they'd been trickling it all over the floor. Ah, oh, we're going to have to find some new buckets. I don't know, what can we use? Mm, if only, if only Floater was here. Right, floater, floater, arrive soon. Floater, floater, come over the moon. And what happened? Floater came floating down from nowhere and said, Did you call me? Yes. Will you carry something down to the pond and carry the water back? We have to tip it over this little blue pony here. Okay. Because you see that one is, is fast asleep. And the one in front of it's got its tail caught. And her body and she can't move so they're both stuck. This pony's hungry. Floater coughed because for some reason now the pond water smelt terrible. Then she realised it had turned to s s s s s s 
the purple stuff. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, it was the smooths. <sighs> they ran. The smooths was now coming out of the pond. How could they get them through? Frodo grabbed hold of Bright Eye's tail and gave it a yank. But instead her tail fell out. Oh great. Floater was left holding a tail. Oh, they pulled her tail out. That's no good. I want her hoof to come out. But you don't want it out though. We want it out of the hole. Oh there's no way that I can do it in time. But the smooth is gonna get me, said Lancer. Don't worry. I'm sure we can do something. Princess Crystal, can you do anything to slow down the smooths? Uh, um, oh no! I left my spell book by the water and I can't remember the spell to get rid of smooths. Oh, I suppose now it's covered in smith. I think you need it. Yes, that was it. You need some yellow paint, a bit of purple plastic and a penguin cup to make a mixture. Oh, and then you need the snow out of a snow globe. What? Yes, that's what you need. You sprinkle it on the smooth. Utter flutter. Bring me the flutter ponies, said Floater. I remember. That's from my time. Truly. Do you remember? Where did the flutter ponies come from? Flutter Valley. Then let's go. Oh no, we're in the future. Oh, we need to go back into the past. But without a key. Lock it. Oh, but she's in the past too. Oh, this is stupid. We've got to get back. It's poor little Lancer. Look, it's coming across the. It's coming across the little grass. Oh! Under the table, right? Quick, now, right. Uh, uh, Weebo, Weebo, we need lock it. Come on, lo lock it. Come on, lock it. Come on, lock it like a rocket. <sighs> she flew out of nowhere. Give me the key. Yes, the key to go into the past. Yes, look, the time's running out. Right. She raced into. The, oh, they raced into the past. Right, fly to Flutter Valley, quick, Floater! Floater ran. She flew. She flew to Flutter Valley. All the Flutter ponies flew out of their little houses. We're too shy, we're not coming. But Lance is going to get covered in... It's going to be too late. Just come! Okay. All the Flutter ponies came. No! Said Rose Dust, Queen of the Flutter ponies. Going with him, you'll never come back to the past. He's just telling a lie to get you. I'm not Flutterbones. Of course he is. Oh look, he's one from the not the past, but so where's he come? From? Oh, I'll explain that later. Just come. He turned the lock in the gate. Ah, oh, look, the smooth. It's an inch away from this. What can we do? Flutterponies! They blew. Away went the smooths. But not in time. It was already coming in the hole. Lancer! Please! Run! I can't! My tail still can't! We have to run! Then everything went silent. Truly woke up. She was standing on top of a guinea pig run. My guinea pig ran in the round round in the open. They were locked up so badly that they could only do the work inside. They couldn't ever come out. Oh dear. 
Oh no! I'm still trying to get out. The hole's just not big enough. Anyway, Bright Eyes is in the way. You've been laying there for two days now. Surely you've thought of a plan by now. All I've been thinking about is you getting a plan. But why can't you think of one? I'm just... Come on. The flutter ponies ran. Right. Why can't we do what to flutter on this lot? Yes. Maybe his tail had come out then. So that's what they did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. All it did was blow Lancer. Blow Lancer into the house so he was locked up again. Mm, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Bright Eyes was still stuck down the hall. They blow her in, too. Well, what's the point of being locked? Don't, don't, don't. Don't fuss your ponies. Don't come in the hall. You're locked up in here. Well, we got the hole. We can always use our outer flutter to blow out the hole again. See whether they do blow out the hole on the next tape.